Hello. May the 5th be with you. Doesn't sound quite the same, does it? Yes, this, yesterday, I should have done this yesterday because it was May the 4th, but um, what happened was we went out, I took my son to play tennis, and then we went, we went to see Infinity War. Don't, don't say anything about it. Yeah. So, Tango Blast, you're lucky. Um, it was very good. The film's re excellent, really, really good. I won't say any spoilers. Just say, if you do go and watch it, make sure you stay right to the end because at the credits there's a little scene. So I would like to have done this yesterday and been perfect, wouldn't it, May the 4th? But um, we're down, so it'll have to be May the 5th be with you today. Right. So, without further... Do. Let's unbox this. I bought this from Big Chief Studios. I pre pre ordered it a while back. This is the Grand Moff Tarkin and Darth Vader double pack. I've said before, I'm a Star Wars fan, or a lot of people are, aren't they, really? And I, I first, one of the first films I remember going to see was, um, was Return of the Jedi in 1983. Yeah, we know. At, uh, cinema in Putney, many, many years ago. And I remember when they unveiled Darth Vader, they took his mask off, and it was Donald Pleasant. That was a pleasant surprise. No. Ah, yeah, yeah, yeah. Here's, here's the box. Very nice. MMS 434. Hot Toys presents Movie Masterpiece Series Grand Moff Tarkin and Darth Vader. This arrived a few days ago, probably like Monday, Tuesday. I think the Vader, this Vader one, did it come separately at one point? I think you can buy these separately as well. I'm not 100%. Guys, look at the sale. The house is flying. Yeah, it's flying. You're lucky. Oh. That's big. I thought these came as two individual ones, so they do, do come as a proper double pack. Oh, like this. Box. It's one big box. That's it, just slips up, slips off like that, the cover. But that, I'll put that over, over here so that's out of the way. Oh, very nice. Very nice. Very, 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 very nice. So, oh, so what lights up then? What are the batteries for? Maybe the chair? No, not the chair. So that's that part there. When are we going to display all this? Because I don't know. Oh, this is nice. There's quite a lot here. I'll show you. Again, he knows when to start making noise. There you are in the pack. You can see him. Clara's very busy today playing Sims. If I get a chance, I might play some Assassin's Creed later. On the rare occasion when I was younger, for our children, I used to go to play games wow, all the time. And now, now, I'm lucky if I get an hour or two on, on a weekend. Oh, Aren't I? So there you go. So that's just a layer there with, the, with both their hands. And in here, Figures. I'll display these straight away. I'll put them. I might have to put them in front of them. The other figures I've got. <laughs> That's the sound he makes, doesn't he? Really? Oh, you can dig up rocks, can you? Uh, uh, what's going on here? Why isn't he not coming out? 
Worrying. I didn't like that. That worried me. I thought, what am I doing? Just pulling it out? Do I just pull it out like this or am I supposed to do something else? Mmm, I love that smell of new. <laughs> That's good. So it's packed in there. So it's looked so. Look, oh, it's a nice material. It's like a. It's got weight to it. It's got. It's weighted down some way, I think. Has it? Is it? Or maybe not. It's just quite heavy material. It's like a velvety. Very nice. I like this. Really, really nice. I think there are, there are a few versions of Darth Vader that they brought out Hot Toys. I think you probably maybe look a bit different than in some of the films that need some of the minor changes, maybe. This is stuff I hate. Because they, they package it nicely, very well. But, um, is he going to stand up on his own? I don't want him to fall forward. I'll try and I'll get his stand, wherever that is. Get his stand. So Tarkin has a chair. Mr. Moff. Oh, so they, do they, oh, they both have a stand as well then? Okay. What's this? Is that for that thing? So we've got two of these, so you can stand them both, which is good. You can sit them down. Chair. Little chair. Is that, is that pretend? I think that might be pretend. You just slot it in. It looks like it's, it turns. I think. You know what? I better read it first. It's probably just do slot it in, but. <sighs> I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know what I'm doing, even though it's probably very just simple to slot, slot it in. Star Fadies stand. Disney now they own everything, don't they? They're like a huge, huge, huge business. Huh? Just from a little mouse. They own all of this stuff. Mickey Mouse. Mickey Mouse owns Darth Vader. You really think Mickey Mouse could say to him, I am your father. Well, in, in his voice it'd be, I am your father. Wouldn't it? <laughs> huh? well, he well, he is now. Yeah, he, he, yeah, he's, he's um, Darth Vader's dad now, isn't he, really? Because he owns Darth Vader, Mickey Mouse. So, I know I sometimes talk to these it's true, he's his daddy now. He's the daddy of Darth Vader. How embarrassing to be Darth Vader. Your dad is Mickey Mouse. That's it, good, it's good. So we've got that off. Let's just take this off the middle. I know I'm showing the back of him, I should be showing the front. What are you doing? Don't break anything, you cheeky monkey. Yeah, yeah this is really nice. Just gotta be careful. Taking off. I'm glad, you know, that they package these so well. Sometimes it's a pain to get off, but I'd rather that than, than not. I'll have to deal with all this plastic. It's annoying at the time sometimes trying to unpeel it and that. But all in all, it's better to be safe than sorry. Look at this. Oh, come on, please. It's just like um, the salad tape there. I use this something. Oh my gosh! Be careful! I don't want any more mistakes like I've done before. 
That's it, that's done. That's him. That's Darth Vader. That's really, really nice. That is quite impressive. Maybe that should slide up a little bit more, that crotch grabber. Just got to be careful there, you don't want to... Plastic material. So we'll put him there. What's this? Is this a stand for the other fella? Yeah. Grand Moff Tarkin. Don't cry. What's wrong? Your, is your horse? Huh? Good boy. Good boy. It's okay. So you can go in the garden if you're a good boy. So you can climb in the garden. You can play with your wibbly wobbly ball. Oh, and here's the other one. That's nice. Let's have a look. Close up. See, again, you've got that mould line, but what can you do about that? What can you do? That's the way it is. If you look close up, we're a little bit far away, you can't really see it, but it's a nice, nice sculpt. Yeah, very nice. Take that off there. Pulls off his hands. If it comes off nicely. Most of the time it's not too tight, you can just slide them off. Right, come on, and that boot. This one's a bit tighter. I have to um, cut this plastic. Oh god, man, I'm gonna be banging his head. I'm gonna damage it. Who's that? Grand Moff Tarkin. That's what that figure looks like. No, 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 that's just uh, another leader. <clears throat> Here we are. Yep, smells nice. Just smell them first. No, my lady. That's nice. So you have the option of putting him on his stand or in his chair. So there he is. Where's the book? Because maybe I should have a quick look at the book to make sure I do everything correctly. Otherwise, I'll know me, I'll make a mistake and do some silly damage. What's that for? Something makes a noise. I'll have a look in a minute. Oh, that, you assemble bits onto that as well, that piece. Yeah, see? The interrogator droid. Can you see it? That's nice. Lovely. Nicely, nicely done. Put the interrogator droid there for a second. So you symbol that, you symbol that. Oh, that goes, it's got a little, a little. Where is it then? I took it out, didn't I? I put it somewhere. But I don't know where. I think what I'll do, I'll take everything out. Oh, there it is, look, 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 silly me. So this goes into that base, the third, the other base. Where did I put that? At the front. <clears throat> I've got <coughs> Devil Star Wars character up there. I've got um, Chewbacca. Do you know? Can you make the sound of Chewbacca? <coughs> Chewbacca. We've got Han Solo, Princess Leia, um, Luke Skywalker, Obi Wan, Obi Wan Kenobi, Ben Kenobi, and then we've got Yoda. I'd like to get a couple of stormtroopers, um, and really that's it. And I've got some, a couple more um, pre-orders coming. I'm not going to get any of the other ones. And they've got about three different versions of Princess Leia, but I'm just like the, the first one, A New Hope. 
um, ones. I'm not going to get three different versions of the layer, three different versions of hand sanitizer, three different versions of tube hand sanitizer. I'll just stick with the one. Oh, this is like a piece of plastic. I'm just going to stick with it like that, really. Because otherwise it just goes mad, you know. You don't have, then you don't have space for other other figures. Because imagine if you put every single one of each character, it's just too many for, for me, really. For me. Um, so I suppose that goes in like that. What I'll do, I'll take everything out and I'll put it all nice, maybe put some batteries in, fix the chair, and then I'll, I'll do a close up. There's all little pieces that go on to the figure. Um, are they epaulets or something? Yeah, and he sits in his chair. And... Yeah, okay, I'll do all that, and then we do a nice close up. close up of everything attached I'll just show you the accessories so if I put them on and then I'll put them on we do a bit more you've got some that's right you've got some get out get it some extra pegs there wrist pegs you got if you want to give birth you know if he's having a baby you've got these or the, some type of forceps yeah these are the code cylinders I think they are called and they go in, into the jacket of Tarkin Lightsaber, that's some yellow orange thing. Oh, not orange, that's his lightsaber for his lightsaber, yeah. Um, here's some other bits there. I think some of these attach into that interrogator droid. So, what I'll do is I'll put all them on. Uh, here's all the hands. He comes with quite a few, doesn't he? Vader. This one, you can share with a lightsaber. Ready? And then you've got some more hands there. One, two, three, four, five. Eight hands there. You get four for him. I'll just show it like that. It's really nice, isn't it? Really? Oh, my God. Huh? Oh, yeah, I can see it. And there's Vader. So what I do now, I put all the other bits together. There's that droid. I put them all together and then I just film a little bit more. And here's the paperwork for it. So, here they are together. I've attached all the bits to the interrogator droid. It was a little bit, bit of a pain, you know. I took a while because I was a bit worried I was going to damage something. I'm not too keen on the base, it's just a bit of very, very thin plastic. They could have made that a bit a bit better. That's a criticism, really, of that. Um, the belt uh, lights up. It's a indicated part from the belt. And you put some batteries in. And I think it just lights up, that's all. I know there's, I think there's, there's one that makes noises, you know, he talks and stuff. But this one just, I believe that bit lights up. Probably press the button on it. Who knows? I'm, I'm not going to do that now. And there's a lightsaber, but I assume battery, you put batteries in there. Somewhere, probably, maybe. Oh, no, no, it's in the arm, isn't it? It'd be on the arm, the other arm. I think, it, yeah. Yeah, yeah, you put batteries in there. I think. And you push it in there, and it lights up. So, there's Tarkin in his chair. It looks quite nice in his chair. I think I'll display him like that. There's the... um. What are they called again? The code cylinders, I put them in. Into his pockets. He looks quite nice in his chair. Again, that's the um, interrogator droid with all its little attachments in it. Very nice. There's all the little batteries. And you saw before. And then. Here he is, Darth Vader. I don't I assume this is not it's not leather. They never give you leather. It's probably pleather. He looks quite impressive, doesn't he? There he is. Spin him around and do a 360 on him. Which 
James Earl Jones, voice, David Prowse, Prowse, where was he from, was he from Birmingham or somewhere, um, the actor who played him, tall fellow, three people played him didn't they, and Donald Pleasance as well, in the first three films for different scenes, you know the voice, James Earl Jones, David Prowse was the, um, when he's in his suit, and then when they unmasked him, it's all pleasant. So there you have it. I'll probably keep him in a, a bit worried about, you know, trying too much with him. Because if you look, it folds already on the arm. So I might keep him in a museum type pose. And they look really great, really, really good together. I've got um, the other one coming. What's his name? Is it Palpatine or whatever his name is? The other fella. A Palpatine, I can't remember what he's called. Um... And a couple of those guards that he has, the um, Royal Guard. And they, they look really nice together. So, look at that. The hair, they really do a good job, don't they, with the, how fine it is. You know, it looks very, very good. Anyway, I'm very happy with them. They're going to go up there. I'll show you the other one. I've got this and I'll show you the other ones that I've got. The other um, Star Wars. I just had this at the end just to show you I've managed to cram them in because Yoda's small so I put them at the front and I've slid them along a bit and um, I've been able just to, about to fit them all in. Eventually I'll pose a hand solo of his gun and Chewbacca maybe with his crossbow you know eventually but at the moment I'm just putting them all up. So there they are. They're okay like that, they're not bad, they're quite nice. Okay, thank you very much, bye.